Father, Spirit, and Son, the Lion and the Lamb, the Lion and the Lamb, how great is our God, sing with me, how great is our God, oh, we we'll see how great, how great is our God. He's the name of all born. You are the God I praise. And my heart will see how great is our God. He's the name of all Name of all born. You are. And my heart will see how great is our God. He's great, he's great. How great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. Oh, see how great. How great is our God. Mighty are the works of your hands. Mighty are the works of your Your name is a name. Worthy of all our praise. Worthy of all our praise. Mighty are the works of your hands. Mighty are the works of your your name is above all names. Worthy of all our praise, worthy of all our praise. Mighty are the works of your hands, mighty are the works. Your name, 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 your name. Your name is above all our days. Worthy of all our praise, worthy of all our praise. Mighty are the works of your hand. Your name, 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 your name. Jesus. Jesus, healing your name, salvation in your name, delivered in your name, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. How great is our God. Sing with me, how great is our God. Oh, we see how great, how great is our God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, keep on blessing the Lord. Give God the highest praise. You're not restricted to give God the highest praise. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give God hallelujah. Thank God. On the, on the program, I know we're moving down the slope, but it says the doxology. We all commit, continue standing because God is it. I tell you, we was at the game today. It would be, it would be a drastic. <laughs> right. 
We'd all be hollering and screaming for our favorite team. Hallelujah. As long as I sing this way, but praise God from whom all blessings. Y'all know that? Praise him, all creatures here below. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Praise God. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. I say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is that's unashamed praise that we give God the highest glory for all that he has done. Hallelujah. Thank God. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I don't know if he's going to make it stand or not, but <laughs> we have the Old Testament scripture going to be read by Elizabeth Daniels. Thank God for her at this time. Come on, give it, God, God bless you. Old Testament should be found in Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter, the uh, seventh through the, the first, is it seventh through the ninth verse, and then the, Jeremiah in the third chapter, 15th verse. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Lord of God is blessed. Praise God at this time. We're going to move right along. Thank God. Let me say this. this that A subject uh, uh, program today is subject to, to change. Okay? So don't, don't, don't say, well, he missed somebody. But no, we thank God for Brother Henry Daniels and Sister Joanna uh, Tillery. We praise God for them both. But we thank God for our New Testament scripture. It will not be coming by Brother Philip Daniels. It will be coming by Evangelist. Uh, I mean, Apostle Micah Chapman. We did evangelist work so long, <laughs> but I think God really elevate this man of God. At this time, you're going to be reading from Romans, the fifth chapter, the first eight verses. Praise the Lord. The reading. Amen. Let the church say amen. Can we say amen again? One more time for the Holy Ghost. Is that all right? Glory to God. I'm, I, now I believe all the jails and all of the prisons and all of the places and the hospitals and the convalescent homes and the mental institutions that I have ministered in, I believe that I believe that the Holy Ghost is a resurrector. Nothing dead. We come to resurrect everything. We want to bury nothing. We want to resurrect. And I believe that God is worthy today of the praise. Is that okay? If, we're not, if, if you're not ashamed of him, let me see you clap your hands. Glory to God. Thank you today, God. Thank you. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Glory to God. In all things, the Bible says, in all things. Is that all right? In all things. He said, give him thanks. In all things. Is that all right? You got your Bibles with you today? Glory to God. I want y'all to help me read this. In unison, if you got your you got your Bible, believe that many people, I believe the church is a place that for you to come to learn. A lot of people don't don't pick up the Bible no way until they're in church on Sunday. So see here, I'm gonna make you do a little bit of read. Glory to God. Is that all right? Amen. You there? Say amen. We're gonna read this in unison. I'm gonna I'm gonna read and then you're gonna read. Okay. 
Therefore, being justified in faith, having the peace through our Lord Jesus Christ. And you said, Amen. And not only so, but we are glory in tribulation and knowing that tribulation worketh patience. You said. Amen. And hope make it not ashamed in the love of God shared, shared because of the love of abroad, abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. Amen. Everybody read. For righteousness the wind died for a good man. Amen. Let the church say amen. The church say amen again. One more time for the Holy Ghost. Amen. Reading of the word is blessed. Thank God. At this time, we're going to be favored with the other family members the Pickett family is coming. Brother Kenneth Pickett Jr. and Sister Victoria Pickett, Kenneth the Third, Kendrick, and Carl Lewis. Come on, give them a hand as they come. They're here to honor dad and grandfather and grandmother. For 22 years. Let the church say it, say this. Love is what it does. That's our theme today. Say love yeah. is what it does. Hallelujah. So, the love is not doing anything. They're coming. Maybe they're coming all the way from Texas. Yeah. Virginia, I'm sorry. Virginia. Isn't that wonderful? Black and white, fair, Jesus in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Hey. All right. All right. Hallelujah. They get that in their heart while they're young. Hallelujah. And when they get in trouble, they say, oh, Jesus, don't they? Help me, Lord. Hallelujah. And he's the one to call on, regardless whether it's a good situation or not so good. How many know that's true? Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Seek the Lord while he may be found and call upon why let the wicked take their way on righteous man and salt. Let him return to God and your monthly pardon. We thank God for that selection again. Our welcome occasion and acknowledgement of guests will be done by Brother Rodney Williams and Missionary Sabrina Williams. Now, these, these, are, these are great supporters of their dad and father-in-law. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Hello, everyone. Um, we are grateful to be here today. 
We're bringing you greetings from Fort Worth, Texas. Right. We're leaving here and going straight to the airport to get on the plane. So excuse us a little bit, but we are here and that's what's important. So today we're here for the welcome occasion and acknowledge guests. Welcome to True Vine Christian Center. 230 Duskin Drive, Cochrane, Georgia. I was trying to remember the address. Um, today is True Vine's 28th pastor's anniversary. Oh and we are here celebrating that. And in um, not just the pastor's anniversary, but on Tuesday, the 10th, it will be my father's 80th birthday so we all came in town yesterday to, to celebrate with him and we are here today celebrating the pastor's anniversary because that is great do we have any first time guests here today nobody want to claim it all right, that's fine. All of you, if you're not a member of True Vine, you're a guest, but we're going to go ahead and say you came more than once, and we appreciate each and every one of you. We appreciate all of the ministers that are here and each one of you because we know that you had other places that you could have gone, but you chose to come and fellowship with us today. And from my husband and I, welcome. Welcome. And enjoy yourself. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, appreciate that welcome. I do. You may go places and you're not welcome, but we know that at True Vine Christian Center is, yeah, say with me, love is what it does. Ah, let that sink down in your spirit. Your love got to, it has to be a performance of what you, you say. When you tell something about it, I love you, but they don't see any evidence uh oh, you're in trouble. It's not real love. Okay, at this time we have an inspirational poem by Brother McKinley Smith and Mother Lotus Smith. Now they also are great supporters of this ministry. I think they've been a part of it uh, as an inception here in Georgia. They say thank God for them. Come on, give them a hand. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Of my poem is I Pastor. This appreciation poem speaks of the, the reason that we need challenges. Have you ever walked in our pastor's street and gone where his people are? Have you ever thought of what he means to us and on your knees giving thanks to God? Have you ever told him thank you for being there when times are tough? For comforting words and fervent prayer when trials go trials go and the storms of life erupt. He answers our calls in the middle of the night and tells us not to worry, but he will be there. He gives us his comfort of quiet rest and comes with prayers of comfort to share. Have you ever thought to say thanks to Pastor for preaching God's word to all of us? For all the time, he has asked for things that will lend us a helping hand. Have you prayed? When you pray, put him at the top of the list and ask the Lord to surround him with love and care to give him strength and walk with him to help him with the burden that he must bear. Thank you. God bless and have a wonderful evening. Thank you. So that's a true example of you reap what you sow. When you're giving your love and the attention to the details, God leads you and guides you. Hallelujah, you get the fruit of righteousness. And I, I thank God for him because let me put this little tidbit. When he started in Hollywood, Florida, I was the one helping him out then and assisting him. And I thank God because uh, I know Jesus said, I am the what? But he said he was a true vine. He said he was a true vine. And uh, and he's established that word in his heart that he's the true vine. We stay on that vine long enough, we're gonna bear good fruit. Amen. Hallelujah, fruit of righteousness. Let me thank God for that inspirational poem. Thank you so much, uh, 
Mother Lotus and uh, Brother McKinley. Like I said, they're strong supporters of this ministry and have been here for a while. The expressions of love, uh, we got Sister Raquel Daniels and others. And let's say, uh, I got in parentheses two minutes, please. And uh, others might want to come on. Uh, give her a hand as she come. That's the youngest daughter, a pastor in uh, Mother Daniel. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. It is good to be in the house of the Lord today. I am, as they said, the only child. I mean, the um, the baby daughter of uh, Pastor and Dr. Daniels. It's so good to be here. Um, I was told in advance to do this. But how many y'all know I did not prepare? <laughs> amen, amen. So I was thinking expressions of love. My auntie did not help me over there in the front row. Expressions of love. And I thought to myself, what does the Bible say about a father's love? In um, Psalms 103 and 13, 103, 13 says, as a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. Um. And Proverbs 22 and 6, my mother made us learn this Bible verse when I was a child. Um, Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he's old, he shall not depart from it. And those two verses, I think my father, um, my father definitely lived those verses out throughout his life. He, um, he was the compassion, the compassionate one in my family. I think I take after him. I, I love him. Y'all must know that. I do love him. Um, and I'm grateful for him. He taught me a lot as a child growing up. Um, as a father, even when he became a pastor, he continually teaches me, um, my nieces and nephews, his grandchildren, his great-grandchildren, um, people that are in his in the flock, even people who are not part of his um his flock. He's he's a teacher and he likes to help people. He's a helper. And I'm grateful for him. And I love him and I'm glad to be here today. My sister already said that his birthday is upcoming and we had a good celebration last night to celebrate him. And um, I'm just glad to be here. And I just want to say that I love you, dad. Because what grandma used to say, love is what it does. So I'm showing you my love and my, my presence because I know you like for people to be with you. So I'm here with you, dad. I love you. Um. And that's all I have to say. So if anyone else has anything to say, um, he already said you have uh, two minutes or less. You don't have to take two minutes. You can just take a moment and just let the pastor know that you love him. Will there be a one? This is not an altar call. <laughs> this is not an altar call. All right. This is uh, my nephew. Here we go. Good morning, church. Hey, you coming up here? I am the oldest grandchild. And this is my youngest, Carl. So think about my grandfather. Uh, over the past years, a couple of people I've known have passed away. And uh, people always like to give people their flowers after they're gone and say nice stuff. But we got to think about people while we're here and let them know how much they really mean to us. So I really do appreciate you, Grandfather, all you've done for me. Uh, you always motivated me. You always gave me some of the fire goes to believe in. So I really do appreciate that. Regardless if the decision was the smartest thing to do, you still supported me and let me figure it out on my own. So I appreciate you for that. Thank you. Amen. Will there be anyone else before we move on to the next part of the service? Popping up like popcorn that is not on high. Okay. Okay, I think we're moving on to the next part of the service. Yes, the next part of the service. Well, give her a great hand. Thank God for that. Okay, now you got to go over there and, and give dad a hug. Tell you it's all them nice things about, it. yeah, you got to do that. <laughs> And mom, too, because uh, they're one. Praise God. Hallelujah. So love is what it does. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 
I'm going to be like somebody told me, I love you, but I'm going to love you from a distance. I think, I think that COVID-19 messed a lot of us up. Get the love and come to Bible says, you know, neglect to assemble yourself together as a man or some is. Hallelujah. So we need to come together and show the love. Glory to God. Thank God for those expressions of love. Praise and worship. Is Lighthouse in the building or Greater Starlight? Either one of them would want to get. Uh, okay. What did they tell you? They, huh? Okay, Bishop Nash and Bishop Ingram, uh, yeah, we want we hear from praise and worship. Oh no, we we're not at the words of encouragement. Yeah, we we're just going to do the praise and worship. But since they are here, we're going to skip over that part because we did a little praise there already, and uh, hopefully you were worshiping him in spirit and in truth, as the Bible says. But we're going to have words of hope and encouragement by uh, Bishop E. N e. J. Nash. And Minister W. Nash at this time. We're going to hear from also Greater Starlight Temple Holiness Church Incorporated. Uh, either either those gentlemen here on the pulpit. But yes, yes, sir. Say praise the Lord as he comes. Truly, I thank God for being here today. I thank him for being such a good God, such a wonderful God. And I just want to. Thank God for all the ministers, all the deacons, the deaconesses, the mothers, and everyone that's here today. Thank God for the family that came, you know, to honor uh, this great pastor and, and assistant pastor. And we thank God for them two beautiful people. And I thank God for them. I love them and I appreciate them, you know, but our hope is in the Lord. And as long as we keep our hope in God, you know, he gonna be, we're going to be all right. Because he promised to supply our every need. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. And he's on, he owned everything. That's right. So, Pastor, I want to encourage you to hold on to God. Amen. His unchanging hand. Yeah. He don't never change. Yeah. He stay the same. Yeah. And when he say something, you can hold on to it. Because yeah. I tell you, it's, it's coming to pass. Yeah. And I thank God for that today. God is such a good God. And, 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 and he mean what he say. He mean what he say, right. even right. when folks lie to you. <laughs> Cause some folks say stuff and don't don't do what they say. Sometimes they mean what they saying, but they just ain't got no power to do it. <laughs> but when God say something, you can bank on it, and He promised to take care of us. They say sometimes the folks come up short. <laughs> but don't you worry about it. God gonna take care of that right. too. Right. And I and I just want to encourage you just to keep going forward and keep blessing God. And I tell you, He'll keep blessing you. Amen. God bless you. May God keep you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. That's all I uh, Pastor, thank you so much for those encouraging words. And uh, this time, I think Bishop. We want to hear from Bishop Ingram, I was told, but uh, he said him and his wife are, are great uh, for the choir. Okay, we want to hear from their choir. Uh, are they here? Or they, or they, they're still setting up. All right, okay. Better late than never, but we're going to have, uh, we're going to hear from, uh, okay, is, is Greater Starlight Temple? Uh, the representative we heard, just heard from Bishop Nash, but uh, do they want to? They want to sing any singers, you know? Would, would you like to sing? Yeah. Come on, bless us with a song. Come on, come on, y'all get encouraged. Just clap your hands up. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Give us some joy. <laughs> The joy of the Lord is what? That's right. They're going to back me up. I don't know if they might be. Yeah. Thank you. 
a lot of times you can't even get along with people. So, you know, it's so good to be with Pastor Daniels and Dr. Daniels. Yes. They always have a smile on their face every time you see them. So we're just so glad to be here today. And I do thank God for my neighbors over there. <laughs> They're great neighbors. <laughs> and I thank God for Dr. Daniels over there. She's my friend. And I says, me and her, we kicked that council butt. <laughs> <laughs> I say your God is good. She's an inspiration. And we know it wasn't easy, but God. Nobody but God brought us through. And I thank God for her. I thank God for her husband. They are he, they so humble. Just like, you know, whatever you need. <laughs> Just ask. But I thank God for you all. Thank God for your journey. We appreciate your example that you have set for this community. Yeah, thank God. God. They hit the ground running. And they were busy, busy, busy. <laughs> so everybody knows them. <laughs> thank God for you. Because of who you are, I give you glory. Yes. <laughs> Because of who you are, I did not you book Lord, I worship you because of who you are. Lord, I worship you.
Hallelujah. Come on, let's just worship the Lord today. Hallelujah. He's all of those things to us. He's the beginning and the end in the first and the last. Hallelujah. She almost got me going. She said she, well, she, she worked on that cancer. And I tell everybody everywhere I go. 22 years ago, my doctor gave me six months to live. 22 years ago. Cancer right here. And now they say I don't have a cancer cell in my body. I give God the glory for that. I give him the praise for that. Because I worship him for just who he is. Dover Rafa, he's my healer. He's my deliverer. Glory to God. Hey, hey I'm not the speaker now. Let's calm down now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, thank you, Lord. I'm going to mess around and have a praise break. Y'all don't care. Glory to God. Come on, let's praise God. Let's give him the praise. Glorify the Lord of Lords. Honor him. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost, have your way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Huh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The song of Maha. Ah. Hallelujah. Because we need to tell God thank you. We need to tell God thank you. Hallelujah. Let's tell God thank you. Thank you. Over the years, over the times. That we didn't see a way. God made a way. God provided. Hallelujah. He's a holy God. He's a righteous father. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. At this time, we're going to have uh, uh, announcements by Brother uh, Dion Verge and Sister Shayla Verge, the granddaughter and uh, her husband. And give us our announcement. Say thank God for them. So we got we got a family affair going here. Good morning, everyone. My name's Shayla. I'm the oldest granddaughter of the bunch. This is my family. My husband Dion, his first and only great granddaughter here, Gaia, and my son Caden. Um, I will be reading the. Yes, it's on. I will be reading the announcements this morning. Um, so they normally go as follows. Uh, we do have Sunday school every Sunday at 9 a.m. And immediately following is morning worship. On Tuesdays, we hold noonday prayer at the church at 12 p.m. And then on Wednesdays, Bible study is held at 4 p.m. On the second Thursday of the month, we go to the uh, Eastman or the Cadwell YDC at 3.30 p.m. And then the third Thursday is Eastman YDC at 3.30 p.m. And then on Wednesdays, Bible study is held at White Oaks at 10 a.m. Um, we do have a few October birthdays in the building. We have Brother John Summeru, and his birthday is October 6th. Penelope Daniels, her birthday was also October 6th. We have our pastor, Henry Daniels. His birthday is October 10th. Uh, missionary Iva Mallory, her birthday is October 11th. Sister Alea Arias, her birthday is October 16th. We do have Brother Kamari Underwood. His birthday is October 17th. And then Sister Alexandria Stevens, her birthday is October 26th. Um, if we have any other October birthdays in the building that we missed, happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday to you all. And also, if there were any anniversaries that were left off, happy anniversary to you. All right, and I think that's the conclusion of our announcements. Don't forget to pray for the sick and shut in. And thank you for joining us today for our 28th pastoral anniversary. That's so wonderful to have your family members. At this time, glory to God, we have an appreciation offering. Y'all know what that is? You got to lay down your heavy burden. All right. <laughs> but Sabrina and children, they're going to start off because I think they have a special gift they're giving to the, uh, dad and uh, mom. 
appreciating them for all this labor of love. But we're going to add to that. We didn't really want to come at this time and uh, assist us in this offertory worship. Because we're giving God the praise for their, their good. Everybody say, love, love is what it does. What it does. Say it again, love, love is what it does. What it does. Okay, whatever they got, we're going to add $100 to it. But go ahead, uh, Sister Sabrina. Where's she? Oldest, oldest daughter. So this is the part in the program where everybody get to participate. <laughs> if you're here in person, you can bring up a cash check or whatever, or you can scan and do cash app or um, Zelle and fill out your envelope. This is the time of the program we actually are giving in. Um, pastor's anniversary and we're going to start the offering out with we count we count it up hold on five, six, seven. but did we count now we're starting the offering off with uh seven hundred dollars so the kids and grandchildren, we got together. We adding the hundreds and more. So seven hundred dollars for starting off the offering. Um, it is his 80th birthday, so we want to do more than we um, have done in the past. And you done? All right. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. All right. <laughs> As I said, we're gonna add to that hundred dollars too. Yes. If, if the pulpit would like to be recognized uh, in giving, you may do that at this time. Okay. We thank God for the churches that are being invited here and um, take part in this, because this is real love, y'all. What you want me to do? This is real And love. you all can um, march around. I guess we need to give them some direction. Oh, give. Come on, give. Oh, give. Oh, no, we, you want them to walk around? Break out. Every praise, every praise, every praise is to our God. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship is one accord. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Sing hallelujah, hallelujah to our sing hallelujah to our God. Every praise, every praise. Is to our every word of worship, worship with one accord. Every praise, every praise, every praise, every praise is to our God, God our Savior. God. God bless you. Thank you so much for your gifts. Hallelujah.
We will bow our heads just for a word of prayer. Father, we're grateful for those who express their love through their giving and those who desire to give. Hallelujah. And those maybe didn't have to give, God, we ask you that you would bless them that would have to give the upbuilding of your kingdom. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. Restore to them a hundredfold. For this we ask in the name of our Lord, Savior Jesus Christ. Let every heart say, thank God. Thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. At this time, we're going to have the introduction. Hallelujah. And again, I don't know where I missed that. I should have had Lighthouse of New Beginnings Church. Uh, did, are they going to give uh, a selection? Okay. At this time, we're going to have uh, a, a selection by them. And uh, next would be the uh, introduction of our speaker in Samaritan Solo by uh, Pastor Jackie Eagle. But at this time, say thank God. Thank God. Come on, let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. For Lighthouse. Hallelujah. I'm sorry, I got to get to my list. Of New Beginnings Church. Don't you call that road? Don't you 
I'm gonna walk the streets of gold. I'm gonna touch the pearly gates. I'm gonna feast on milk and the honey in that land where there is plenty. I'm gonna do a holy dance. I'm gonna shout hallelujah. I'm gonna sing those iron songs in my heavenly, heavenly home. I'm coming along. Thank you, thank you. We needed a praise break like that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lighthouse. That was wonderful. Now this time we're going to have an introduction of speaker and some monic solo by Pastor Jackie Ingram. We, we, we missed nobody. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on and give God some glory. Come on and give him praise in this house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't think I'll be singing this song, but we do give honor to our Lord and Savior. He's so good. He's so good. He's so good. Amen. Just listening at the testimony. Cancer survivor. How many know him to be a miracle worker? He's a way maker. Hallelujah. They just told us about beating cancer. And I worked on the cancer floor. So I know about it. Talking about a miracle. My God, we give God all the glory. All of the glory belongs to God. Hallelujah. Amen. We do give an amen to the honorees. Amen. Pastor and Dr. Daniels. To their children, grandchildren, great grands. Amen. To all of the pulpit. I don't know everybody's name. Amen. Bishop Nash. Amen. Pastor Mays, I believe. And our other pastor, a Apostle Chapman, amen, and Pastor Walker, hallelujah, Pastor Moss, amen, looking young and beautiful, 
Amen to Bishop Nash, I believe his wife, First Lady. Amen to all of you in your respectable places. We come to lift up the name of Jesus. We come to celebrate them, but we came to lift up the name of Jesus. How many know that God is a good God? God is a good God. And we should sing that song. God is a good God. Yes, he. Oh, God is a good God. Yes. Oh, my God is a good God. Yes. Oh, God is a good God. Oh, God is a saving God. Yes, he. Oh, God is a saving God. Oh, my God is a healer. Yes, he. Oh, my God is a healer. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Oh, God is a good God. Yes. Tell you, God is a good God. Amen. He's a good God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't think some of y'all know that he's a good God. But we got some witnesses that know that he's a good God. Amen. And we ought to be giving God praise and glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Pastor shouldn't have to pump us to praise God. Glory to God. Come on and give God some glory. Hallelujah. 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 My God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. They say if you've been through what I've been through, I promise you'll be praising God through. Somebody must not been through anything, but we've been through some things. Amen. We're going to leave that alone because Bishop coming. Amen. But we thank God for Pastor Daniels. And when our church, amen, was struck by lightning and caught a fire, our shed burnt up everything in them. Came through the church with those two. We were going to have church in the yard, but those two gave us the keys to this building. So y'all welcome. Not only that, he trying to be Superman and broke his little leg hurt walking in a cast. We happened to go out the door, passed out there with a lawnmower. Couldn't grade. That's, that's what love does. It said love is what love does. Don't just tell me you love me and don't never show me. My husband can't say I love you, baby, but don't never show it. Don't put me on a wonder, but show love. We're supposed to be a big ball of love anyway. My sister in need, I should be there. My brother in need, I should be right there. That's love. Amen. I didn't come to preach. He's going to preach, but we thank God for the man of God. Amen. We've been married over 40 years. He's been with one woman for 40 years. Hallelujah. Got about 10, 15 children, 20 some grandchildren, all kind of children. Amen. Because he loves children. He loves God's people. He loves that sinner, man. He's going to preach against sin. But he loves the gays. He loves the lesbians. He loves the drunks, the dope addicts, the alcoholics. He loves them. He's going to preach against sin. But he loves them. And that's why we preach against sin. Yeah. Amen. Thank God for the man of God, Bishop Ingram. Hallelujah. Amen. Let the church say amen. amen. Let's say it again. Amen. Let me put it to you like this right here. Let me put it to you like this right here. You know, a lot of times people say give God some praise. Let everybody say amen. Everybody put their hands together. But let me say it like this. If God haven't done anything for you, if God haven't done anything for you, don't you stand, don't you clap your hand, don't you open your mouth, don't you say nothing. If God haven't done anything for you, just sit there, hold your peace, and just... Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I believe that when the walls of Jericho came down, I, I believe there was a loud noise made. Am I right about it? So if we can make a loud noise in this house, we letting the 
devil know you can't have no kind of place in here. Is that all right? So will all the believers, the true in heart, the redeemed, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Can you make some noise in this house? Amen. Now you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. And before I get started, before I get started, the Bible says to give honor to whom honor is due when it's in your power to do so. Amen. And nobody has asked me for this, but I'm going to do it because I feel led to do it. Amen. Right now, amen, they turned the house over to me, which means I'm in control. Amen. Me and that Jesus were in control. Am I right about it? They, they gave me the keys. They gave me the keys. Told me I'm in charge now, right? So now we got to do as I say do. Because I'm the head now. I wish I had some help in here. Ain't God all right? I mean, they got to do what I say do now. Because I'm the head now. Uh, somebody say amen. So with that being said, we're going to hear something right quick from our very own pastor, our dear sister, a lady that I love dearly. Amen. And it it just touches my heart. Amen. And I'm glad to see them here. Amen. Uh, but I'm like this right here. Again, love what? Is what it does. Can we put our hands together just for a short time for our very own, none other than Pastor Nash. I mean, Pastor, Pastor Moss. I'm sorry, Pastor Moss. Amen. Now, listen. She didn't know I was going to call her. She didn't know this. She had been through something. She's still gone through something. Amen. But we as Christians, as brothers and sisters, were supposed to be there for her. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. So just, just, just give me a few minutes, okay? Is that all right? Amen. amen. And we're going to hear something from her. Amen. And, and, and we're going to thank God for her. If you only knew her story, Pastor Mouse, will you come? Amen. 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 God bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Now, I really, truly feel awkward, praise God, coming before the man of God at this time. So, praise God. But I thank God, praise God, for the, the, the leaders of this church, praise God. Thank God for the honorees today, praise God. Thank God for the pulpit company, everyone up here, praise God. We thank God for each one of you, one by name, one by one and name by name, praise God. We thank God that the, the, the uh, Daniels were in our corner for months, praise God, prior to the, the loss of my husband, praise God. They was right there with us, praying for us, sending us texts, calling us, praying for us, encouraging us. Almost every day I would get a text encouraging us. But I thank God for all of everyone else that was praying for us, praise God, and encouraging us as well. But I just thank God for the, the, this meeting today, praise God. Love is what it does. Praise God. One thing that Bishop taught me, and praise God, I lost him July the 27th, praise God, and my mother passed away September the, 12th, the 13th, praise God. But God is keeping my mind, my heart, and my spirit. But God. Let me back it up a little bit. 2017, I was diagnosed with cancer. By 2020, 20, praise God, I had a surgery, praise God, and everything was taken care of. All right. God did that, praise yeah. God. Yeah. God did that, yeah. praise God. Glory to God. But I just thank God today that love is what it does, not what it says. But one thing Bishop taught me, he said, baby, he said, don't ever give one, anyone an empty envelope. Praise God. Prior to then, I was smiling, telling my love people, you know, give them an envelope. And I meant it from my heart, but it was empty. He said, don't ever do that. <laughs> so I learned, don't give anyone an empty envelope from him. I learned that. Praise God. But, you know, he, ta he taught me so much. But praise God, you know, I just thank God that, you know, the scripture says, give and it shall be given unto you. Praise God. So, you know, when we give, it's a blessing that's open a door that God is going to give back to us. You know, press down, praise God, shaking together and running over, praise God. So it's going to come back to us in a great way. And I just thank God it's called currency for a reason. 
It's supposed to come to your hand, flow right on, and just, right. you know, pay it forward. Right. It's right. supposed to keep it moving, praise God. That's why it's called currency. You supposed to, it comes to your hand, we are blessed to be a blessing. It comes to our hand, we keep it moving because it's called currency. Praise God. So I thank God for just a few words, praise God. And right now we're going to hear the man of God, praise God. Glory to God. Oh, oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. She said something about currencies. Uh, and, and when God give it to you, when he bless you, he bless you to bless somebody else, right? Hold on, mom. Hold on. I'm passing it forward. I'm passing it on. Ain't God all right? I said, ain't God all right? Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Hallelujah. Love is, love is what it does. Love is what it does. Hey, God, all right? Somebody tell the Lord thank you. So, anybody else want to be blessed? Anybody else want to be blessed? Huh? Anybody else want to be? That's she right now. That's she right now. Anybody else? God, oh, come on, somebody. My, 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 my. Ain't God all right? Hold on, you said, uh oh. Look at God. Look at look at him. Oh, come on. Look. Lord have mercy. Lord how look. Look at God. Look at you. Okay, go ahead. Oh, come on, come on. Running over, press down. Running over, shaking together. Well, he called me to give unto your bosom. I wish I had some help in here. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now we don't already gave to the honorees. We don't, get, we don't bless them. We ain't taking nothing from them. We're not taking nothing from them. Come on, somebody. Ain't God all right? Look at God. Look at God. Look at God. You can't be God-given. You can't be God-given. Woo! My God. Look at the love. Look at the love. Look at the love. Look at the love. Hallelujah. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. And you know what? You know what, Pastor Nash? I was told that what goes around comes around. That's what I was told. What goes around comes around. Look at the Lord. Look at the Lord. That's what I'm talking about. Look at the Lord. Ain't God all right? Pastor Miles, Mother Miles, we do this because we love you. We love you. This is love. I had to obey God. And I did what God allowed me to do. This is love. We're happy for you. We love you. We're standing with you. And we pray that God will continue to rest, rule, and abide in you from henceforth and forevermore. And you occupy until he come. You are, look at look at the love. You occupy till he come. You got some help. You got some help. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. Hallelujah. Woo! Man, I feel good in this house. Now, before I get into my word, I got one more person I like to bring. This is a, a, a celebration, right? Celebration, right? I'm still in control, right? That's the Lord lead me, right? All right, let us hear and thank God for our very own, my brother, one of the uh, popular men down here in Cochrane, Hawkinville, Eastman, surrounding Georgia area, amen, back in the woods, so to speak, amen. Pastor Mays, thank God for him, amen. Amen. Hallelujah, we thank God for being here today. Thank God, uh, the pool, everyone in the pulpit and everyone in their respective place has been addressed. Just take a few minutes uh, th this morning. I thank God that uh, to be here and to be able to share uh, love and uh, presence with the Daniels. I uh, wasn't able to make it to the birthday yesterday. I was sure looking forward to it, but Amen. Well, we thank God for today. Amen. Thank God for today. And uh, I was preaching this morning, 
from uh, Psalms 56. And I kept, while I was preaching, I kept seeing Pastor Daniel's face. I'm like, why in the world I'm seeing his face in Psalm 56? Well, amen, for those of you who are familiar with the passage, it's David professing uh, God's goodness for bringing him through when Saul was after his life. And David had to go, amen, in the presence of Achish. And he said, David was his, so he was so afraid of Saul that he changed his, his appearance. He dressed up as a madman and, and was and carried on the behavior of as a madman. But one thing, amen, that stood out in that, amen, I can, when, I, when I got to that part, I saw Pastor Daniel's face and it is to let you know, thank God for when you was working in the ministry, when you was going here and there. The enemy was after you, chasing after you. The enemy was trying to hinder you. You didn't change your behavior. You didn't change your appearance. You kept on holding fast to God. And just look at the fruit of you holding to your behavior of God and you keeping the faith in God. And, and, and we want to continue to pray with you and pray for you that you don't change your behavior. No matter how the enemy rage, no matter how many times he come against you, amen, your wife, Dr. Daniels, amen, keep your faith, hold to God. And, and God will bless you, and God is going to do great things for you, even at age 80. I'm praying to get there. I'm praying to get there. Amen. So I just want to share that with you. Amen. Uh, we love you. And we continue to pray for you. And if I don't see you again, happy 80th birthday. Amen. 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 Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. God has spoken. So let the church say amen. Let the church say let the church say amen God has spoken so let the church let the church say amen let the church Say amen, God has spoken, so let, let the church, church say amen. Oh, let the church say amen, let the church say amen, God has spoken. So let the church say amen. Come on, come on, saints. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Oh, let the church say amen. Come on, come on and worship. Come on. Let the church say amen. God is so let the church say amen. Today we do give honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. I can truly say he's the head. He's the ruler of my life. Amen. Without him, I can do nothing. 
Without him, I am nothing. But it's in him I live, I move, and I have my being. Somebody say amen. amen. Well, thank you, God, for this beautiful day, for this is the day that the Lord has made. And I'm going to rejoice in what? Be glad. Amen. amen. We give honor, amen, to the angels and the shepherd of this house. Amen. amen. Dr. Bishop, Dr. Pastor Daniels. Amen. Thank God for them. Amen. Yeah. We love them. Put your hands together for them in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Come on. We can do a little bit better. Come on. Come on. Amen. Amen. We, we do know that the time is drawing now, amen, and a lot of people is restless, ready to go and ready to eat, whatever. I heard some say they got to go catch a plane, amen. So we're going to try not to be before you very long, amen. If I got anything to do with it, I'm only going to be before you about three minutes. If I got anything to do with it, because, amen, how many know that body will tell you it's time to rest? It will do it, amen. Amen, and we don't hear some good talk and some good singing, amen, some good... Uh, Consolation, amen, and, and encouragement. We thank God for our brother and sister, amen. We had the privilege, amen, of traveling with them. We went to a funeral down in Hollywood, Florida, amen, together, amen. And I thought, uh, Pastor Mouse, I thought we were going to ride together, but Sister Daniel said, no, we're going to drive, amen. I said, okay, well, I'll take the lead. Amen. So I took the lead. We're going down 16. Amen. I believe it is 16. Amen. And she let me get all the way in Florida. All the way in Florida. She let me get in Florida. After we got in Florida, she didn't blow a horn. She didn't blink a light. She just came around me and said, okay, I got the lead now. And she took us on in. <laughs> Come on. Amen. Anybody ever rode with uh, Pastor Daniels? Amen. Anybody ever rode with her? <laughs> They'll know what I'm talking about. Amen. She would have made a good race car driver. Amen. She don't play when they come behind that steering wheel. Amen. You get in front of her and you doing, you doing 55 and the speed limit 70. Hey, she going to come around you doing 90. <laughs> amen. She will get you there. Amen. Amen. And one thing I learned about them, amen, is that Amen. Even though we stayed in the same place, the same hotel, amen, they are to themselves, amen. They don't bother you. They don't uh, try to see what you want to do or anything like this. They let you be you, amen. But they, they know how to entertain. Somebody say amen. amen. That's good company, amen. Amen. And we praise God for them, as my wife said, amen, how they came and uh, just treated us as we was just one of their, one of their children. Amen. And open the doors to us. Matter of fact, I still got the key. Amen. To this house. Amen. amen. If they ain't changed the laws. Amen. <laughs> I wouldn't know because I haven't had to try. Amen. But nevertheless, God is good. We give honor to, the, to, er, to everyone in the pulpit, to each and every one of you. Amen. To the Mallorys. Amen. To my lovely, beautiful queen. Amen. Of 40 years plus. Amen. Thanking God for her. Thanking God for Lighthouse. Amen. Every church that's represented in this place today, we thank God for you. Amen. As I said earlier, my body is tired. Amen. And I got some wear and tear on me. Amen. I woke up this morning thanking God for life, health, and strength, but I yet woke up not feeling the best. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, rain, rain weather just does something to me. Amen. I got wet the other day in the rain and amen. And then I had to go to a church the other night that didn't have no air condition. They had fans. Amen. Doors open and everything. And then, amen, yesterday evening after church, amen, I could tell that it was taking a toll on me. Woke up this morning and I almost just said, amen, y'all going to have to go for me. Amen. But nevertheless, how many know God always got a ram in the bush? Ain't God all right? I said, God always got a ram in the bush. I want you to smile. Yes, ma'am, you. You some kid, you some kingdom, Mother Mouse? That's you, you, I, I felt like I, I knew you some kin to it, but I want you to smile. And the reason I said smile because there's a healing taking place in you. There's a healing taking place in you. I'm not your, I'm not your everyday speaker, y'all. I'm not your everyday preacher. I have to do what God tells me to do. Amen. I know we come for one thing to hear the word, but how many know Jesus sent his word to do what? Come on, y'all. Amen. 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 
know what I'm saying? How many know when, when you come to represent, you come to be obedient to the things of God? Amen. 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 And, and, and not only that, but he told me, he said, your faith does what? Make you Makes whole. you whole. A lot of times we're waiting for people to lay hands on us and promise out of us. But it's what's on the inside of you. Amen. The greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And I want to let you know your faith right now is working on your behalf. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. Amen. But I never forget. I remember, amen, a time back, amen, a mother was here, amen, and we was getting ready. I think we was getting ready to dismiss. But God spoke, had me speak to us, and that's healing in your body. Not knowing what she was going through. But look at her today. She's still here. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. God knows what we need. Amen. He knows what we need. Amen. amen. And I'm, I'm, I'm tired of the same old, same old. Amen. amen. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of the same old, same old. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. amen. I'm, I'm tired of people preaching what they got in their pocket, boy. Yeah. Yeah. What they got in their pocket. Yeah. And yeah. how many bedrooms they got. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm sick of that. Amen. I want to know that God is a healer. Yeah. I want to know that God is a deliverer. Amen. Amen. He said the same way that I did. Amen. Tell you to do it. I'm so glad you're trying to work. Amen. It's all right. Amen. It's all for you. I'm making the day. Over there, you're having an eye. I'm stopping their fear. So it's your faith. Amen. 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 Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Oh, you got to get this thing right. Thank you. Huh? Yes. You know why the church ain't growing? Because the head is out of order. Yeah. Uh, come on, somebody. Yes, sir. I wish I had some help in here. Right. Uh, the body can't get right. It's right. If the head all messed up. Right. Yes, sir. Huh? You can't preach to me one thing and live another thing. Right. Huh? What you preach, you got to live it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they yeah. told me one time, yeah. said, if you ever want to know who living holy in the church, Go to the nightclub and get your two or three out on there uh -huh. and bring them to church on Sunday uh -huh. and they'll put out every one. Uh huh? Yeah. Hey, God, all right. all right. But we don't need that. No, we don't. We don't need that. No. He said, don't let your good name be evil. Come on, somebody. Huh? Yeah. Ain't God all right? Ain't God all right? Hallelujah. All right. Hallelujah. But see, you know why we won't preach against sin no more? Because we want that money to keep flowing. Oh, my God. But I heard him say, huh, that my father's rich. Yes, he is. Huh? Yes, he is. Huh? Yes, he is. He owned the cows upon a thousand he Yes, he is. Huh? And what he has for me, it is for me. And if you get mad, I wish I had, well, I wish I could, I, I wish I could say, if you get mad, I had some help in here. Huh? Yes, sir. You know, you know, you know why this is a great celebration? The people's here the way they are from different places? Because the head is right. Yeah. If the head wasn't right, we wouldn't be here today. Huh? If he had not shown the people how to live holy and righteous, yeah. we wouldn't be here today. Yeah. Woo. Jesus said, I went into my own. Huh? They receive me not. Uh -huh. Ain't God all right? Yes, yes, yes. Ain't God all right? Yes, yes. You got to tell the truth. Tell the truth. Don't care who like it right. and who don't like it. Yes, uh -huh. You got to tell the truth. Yes. You got to let the people know the wages of sin and death. Yes. But the, yes. don't, don't stop right there now. Yes. Don't stop right there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I tell them, I tell people, sinners know they're sinners. Uh -huh. They know they sinning. Yes. They know what they're doing. Yes. They know they're wrong. Uh -huh. You ain't got to beat them up. Uh -huh. You ain't got to tell them you need to stop. Uh -huh. You ain't got to tell them you need to quit this and no. quit that. They know what they're doing. Uh -huh. You just live a life in front of them. Let your light so shine before all men. Yes. That they may what? See the good good word. Word. Not to glorify you, but to do what? Glorify. Somebody talk to me today. Huh? Yeah. I heard him say, say, if I be lifted up. Oh, oh, come on, am I in the right house today? Yeah. Anybody want to lift up the name of Jesus? Yeah. Anybody want to lift up the name of Jesus? Yeah. He said, if I be lifted up, yeah. I'll drown. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. God, I feel the Holy Ghost. My God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. It's time out for playing games. It's time out for playing church, y'all. Come on, somebody. We got so many preachers now they dipping and the dodging. They got a wife and a sweetheart. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. Come on. It talk better, right? I'm talking about in the pulpit. Amen. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Amen. We got to clean out. Yeah. Yeah. That's right, preacher. This is an appreciation. Yeah. Yeah. This is a celebration. Yeah. What better way to appreciate and celebrate than to tell the truth? Yeah. 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 We got preachers. We used to say the deacons. Yeah. But now it's the preachers. Yeah. Now it's the preacher. Yeah. Honey, I won't be home till late. I got to go check on somebody. Ah, uh, what goes up must come down. What goes around coming back around. You gonna reap <laughs> what you sow, what you plant surely will grow. What goes up must come. Somebody said, "Gotta come down." Somebody said, "Gotta come down." See, we need to take some preachers down, y'all. We need to send some preachers down. Amen. amen. Because one thing about it, if you know they're doing wrong, and you still go and say amen to them, you just as guilty as they are. Somebody say amen. Somebody say amen. amen. The words that have been too long together. And so many. Yes. Clean up. Real. Clean up. Uh -huh. From all filth and this other flesh. Yes. Clean, up. Clean up. From all filth and this other flesh. Clean up. Clean up. Clean up. Clean up! Let me hear you say it. Yeah. Let me hear you say it. Clean up! Let me hear you say it. Clean up! Tell your neighbor! Clean up! Tell your neighbor! Tell your friend! Yeah. Tell your mama! Yeah. Tell your daddy! Yeah. Clean up! Clean up! Clean up! Yeah. 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 Time to clean up. The word of God says, present your body. Am I in the house? Am I in the house? Yes, sir. Present your bodies. Yes. Huh. Son. I feel like walking this thing, but I ain't able to. Right. Present your bodies. Uh -huh. A living sacrifice. Uh -huh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory. Hold it. Hold it. You can't, you can't come no any kind of way, y'all. No 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 you can't go clubbing on a Friday and Saturday and want to come in church. Come everybody pray to God. Everybody stand up and give God some glory. Everybody give God some praise. Now, you need to sit your dirty self down. Huh? See, when we were coming up, we had some discerning praying mothers. We had some people that, that, that knew your attitude, that knew about your spirit. They could tell that your spirit wasn't right. And when you came in, Get on the quavo, they said, Baby, you can't go about today. I wish I had some help in hell. Huh? But now we're scared now. Because everybody on the praise and worship team is our household. Wow. Uh-oh. And we scared to sit our household down. Uh -huh. Because if we sit them down, we ain't gonna have nobody to praise God for us. That's what we but watch this right here. He said, let everything that have what? Do what? Before the music, before the before the keyboard came, before the drums came. Before the organs came, Praise. before that tambourine came, what do we have? Breath. Huh? Praise. What do we have? Breath. We had breath, didn't we? Uh -huh. You see, he said, let everything to hell. Do what? Praise. Praise. See, when we said praise Lord, first thing people want to do is clap their hands. Yeah. But he said, let everything to hell. Breath. Which means you got to open your mouth. Woo! Glory to God. Ain't yeah. got that right? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Hallelujah. Somebody yeah. say amen. Yeah. Somebody say amen. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Praising God, somebody will open up a song, and we didn't have a drum and a tambourine and all that. We had. Amen. 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 Right, that was what we had. Uh -huh. And then when yeah. one got through singing, somebody else would pick it up. Yeah. But we don't have that no more. Yeah. We got all this contemporary stuff in the house. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't mounting up to nothing. Yeah. That's right. None of the songs on the words, the words on the song, none of them will go home with us no more. Yeah. But I remember a song said, What a friend we have in Jesus. You like that, don't you? I do too. All our sins and griefs to bear. Yeah. Yeah. What a privilege to Come on, come on. How, how, how? Yeah. See, 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 
See, we don't sing no no more. We don't sing no no more. We, we, we used to sing a song. Pass me not, O oh, gentle Savior. Oh, Singing a song, say, I do anything for your glory. I climb the highest mountain, I cross, I cross the hottest desert. You won't even come to proud me. You won't even come to Sunday school. I wish I had some help in here. You won't go bigger than six. You won't go bigger than seven. And you can't even be obedient to the leadership. Come on now. Come on. Get it. Get it. But I heard somewhere in the world it say, seek ye for the good old way. And when you find it, walk there. Yes, sir. Ain't God all right? Yeah. And I feel like preaching now. I feel my help coming on. We got to go back to the old land, Mark. We got to go back to getting down on our knees. Ain't God all right? We got to quit waiting on this two minute prayer. Amen. That when the church open, we got a two minute prayer. Uh, that two minute prayer ain't helping you. Can I get a witness in here? I need somebody uh, that been on their face before God. Uh, somebody that can get a word. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, so I need a word. Uh, I need a word. Uh, but I need a right now word. Right now. I need something that's going to go down yeah. and come up with me. Yeah. Ain't God all right? Uh, ain't God all right. I need a greater peace yeah. uh, that is in you yeah. uh, than he that is in the world. Yeah. Yeah. the good old land yeah, yeah. And when we find it, yes, we got to walk there in. Yes. Ain't God all right? Yes. I'm about through, y'all. Yes. I'm about through. Yes. But I got to get this message out to you. Yes. That we are so busy hiding behind our skeletons in our closet. Yes. We're afraid to let them out because we don't want to be exposed. But yet we say, Oh, God. Oh, God, make me what you have me to be, Lord. Oh, Lord, do something for me. Oh, God, wash me thoroughly. Wash me with hits of God. God, if I've done anything and I'm not like you, Lord, I ask you to rent me. But when you start cleaning you up and people start noticing the real you, then you want to go back in the closet. Come out that corner. Come out that corner. Come out that corner. See, they, they don't know these songs. They don't know these songs. 
You can run to the rock. And the rocks cry out. Tell your neighbor, you can't hide. Come on, tell me you can't hide. When will you allow God to wash you for real? When will you allow God to wash you for real? When I first met Pastor Daniels, Bishop Daniels, was at the uh, lawnmower shop up in Eastman, Georgia. We didn't know each other from a rock. But guess what? Our message was the message of Jesus. And that's how we became acquainted. Ain't God all right? Some kind of way Mother Shotwell name came up. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. Ain't God all right? And from there, we've been friends ever since. Amen. Ever since. And I thank God that God put us two together. He said, whosoever God joined together? No man. No man. Huh? And that's the word? Yeah. See, we made, when we got married, we said, I promise yeah. to keep this vow right. in sickness yeah. and in health yeah. for richer or for poor until death. Do a part. You made a commitment. Now you know if you don't stay committed to that wife or that husband, you sure ain't gonna stay committed to God. What do you mean, preacher? You can't divorce your wife or your husband. All right, wait a minute. What you talking about? You said for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health, until death. You do talk. Why are you divorcing your spouse to go with somebody else? What you say? Pull me, 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 sit me down, sit me down. I'm trying to preach up. That's good teaching. True. Good teaching. Good teaching. Good teaching. True. Good teaching. When they want to hear, when they don't want to hear. That's right. Oh, Pastor, I want you to meet. I want you to meet the love of my life. Mm. God sent her to me. God told me she was my wife. Wow. Two years later, where that wife at? Mm. It ain't even two years now. It's a year now. Yeah. I'm done, man. You're a year. Yeah. Where they at now? Where they at now? Huh? Where they at now? Yeah. Well, you know, we just couldn't get along. Well, you should have known that before you married them. Right. I wish I had some help in this house. Right, ain't God all right? Yeah. The word of God said, what? Know them. That later. But see, you know what's going on? We in the church and going outside the church trying to find that spouse. Amen. Amen. Now we are all equally yoked. Oh, oh, you knew that guy. You knew. You knew he was a cigar smoker. Yes, you knew he was a woman chaser. Yes, you know, y'all ain't liking me now. Huh? You thought you could change him. If your mama could change him, you sure can't change him. Right. Yeah. 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 Uh oh. Uh oh. But then we got. This is my sister in Christ. Yes. This is my sister in Christ. Uh huh. Me and my wife, all of a sudden we have a little disagreement. Mm -hmm. Just a little. Yeah. But my sister in Christ, how you doing, Brother Ingram? So good to see you. You sure look good. You sure yeah, look good. but how you been treating your wife? <laughs> Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What I look like going with my sister, and I just told y'all she's my sister. Uh-oh. -huh. Uh -oh. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Huh? Devil is a liar. Devil is a liar. Say it again. The devil is a liar. Now watch this. If, if, if her husband passed and my wife passed, then if we see eye to eye or got eyes for one another uh -huh. and God allow it to be, then that can be. But other than that, you live in the fornication. That's right. That's you can live in the dust. Somebody say it, man. Amen. Here it is. Sound up. Here it is. Bishop Daniel come telling me, well, you know, me and Sister Daniel ain't, ain't together no more. Oh, and so this uh, this is my new wife right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 my new wife. But guess what? <laughs> well, I can't call you nothing because you is a daughter. See, so so now, so now. He present her as Sister Daniel. I can't call her Sister Daniel. Come on. I can't call her Sister Daniel. She's still gooch. All right. She's still gooch. Right. Because the real Sister Daniel is still here. That's right. The first Sister Daniel is still alive. Yeah. She's like to me today. Yeah. Come out from the moment. Come yeah. Let me separate. I'll be your God. Yeah. Talk to my people. Yeah. He said, if my people were to call by her name, I'll be your I know y'all don't like it, but that's all right. I know y'all don't like it, but that's all right. Huh? I was going to come from something else. I was going to come from 1 uh, 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 Thessalonians, 3rd chapter. Y'all can read it when you get home. So we got to understand everything don't fit in God. That's right. That's right, preacher. Yeah. I had to got me a backup. I had to talk my coming up uh, minister over there. I said, get ready. I'm going to pass you the mic because I really don't feel good. Well, God knows what we need. He knows. God knows what we need. Somebody say amen. 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 Yeah. We got to yeah. stop yeah. this stuff in the house of God. Yeah. That's right, preacher. We got to stop this stuff in the house of God. Yeah. Amen. Then we would have got to the place now. We want to walk up to somebody. Amen. 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 Just had here. just left here in a service. Mm -hmm. Had just left this church. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My wife took her home. Her husband was drunk. Got mm -hmm. mad. Picked up the shotgun and shot. Wow. Shot on the leg. Mm -hmm. Thank God none of those pellets out of that shotgun shell hit none of her bones. Mm -hmm. Thank God all right. Mm -hmm. Thank God all right. Mm -hmm. And you know what I told my God? You know what I told him? I said, you still got to forgive him, and you right. still got to love him. Amen. Amen. She said, what? Well, I said, you still got to forgive him, and you still got to love him. Amen. She said, what? Well, I said, you still got to forgive him, and you still got to love him. Amen. Huh? Amen. I wish I had some help. That's right. You should do good to them that does what? Despite what they miss you. That's right. That's right. 
How can you say you love me and hate your brother? You see, Dave, he said, you're a liar, and I don't abide in you. When people do you wrong, you still got to love them. I don't care how much they cuss you out. I don't care how much they come against you. I don't care how much they uh, uh, dig ditches for you to fall in. You still got to love them. Amen, amen. I don't know about all that. I ain't got what you got. You ain't got to have what I got. Love me, you got Jesus. Love me, you got Jesus. Somebody say, Love me, you got Jesus. Jesus loves me. Church world is in a mess. So I gave me a message to give. I'm going to share it with y'all just for a few minutes. Just for, I'm going to give you the title of it. We've been healed, but not delivered. Amen. Y'all can take it and make a sermon out of it. Been healed, but not delivered. There's so many things going on in the house of God, y'all. I'm telling y'all. The word of God said, if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart huh, that Jesus is, uh, he said, I shall what? He said, uh, that's what he said, right? Yeah. But after being saved, you got to go a little bit further. Right. He said, after that, after that, you got to receive the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. He said, after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, you shall receive what? Power. Power. That's the problem. That's the problem. So you've been healed, but you ain't delivered. That's right. Y'all remember the disciples that walked with Jesus? But when Jesus was crucified and went to the grave, they did what? They went back and started doing what they were doing, right? They were healed, but they weren't delivered. So he had to send word to them. Tell them to go into the upper room and stay there until they be what? And down with power. I don't know how. You need the Holy Ghost. You need the Holy Ghost. I say, we, we need the Holy Ghost. We need the Holy Ghost. We've been healed, but we're not delivered. Y'all remember the leprosies? Ten men with leprosy, they all got healed, didn't they? Uh -huh. They all got healed, yeah. but then but one come back, come back to be made whole. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Huh? That's right. You're healed, but you're not delivered. Mm -hmm. You're letting your past catch up with you. Mm -hmm. You're letting what people say and think about you get into your heart now. All right. Uh oh. Huh? Be not weary and well doing, mm -hmm. for you did run well. But who hindered you? Who hindered you? My message is coming to an end. I did not get into I didn't know God was going to take me that way. But God knows all things. He knows all things. I can't say I love Bishop Daniel, Pastor Daniel, Sister Daniel. I can't say I love them if I don't first love myself. He said, love thy Neighbor. Ass. So if I don't love me, I can't love you. That's right, preacher. If I don't love me, I can't love you. That's right. Like my wife said, if I don't never tell, well, I can tell her, but if I don't never show her, because love is an action word. Yeah, yeah. My wife can tell me she wants a new car. I tell her, you know what I tell her? I said, go get it. I don't ask her how we're going to pay for it. I don't ask her how much money we got in the bank. I don't ask her none of that. Huh? Because I know that my God is a provider. Yes. Huh? Come on. Them that diligent to see him. So when she tell me she wants her, I bought my wife a Mercedes for our anniversary. Bought her a Mercedes, one of those SUVs. Amen. And we don't already gave away three Mercedes. I didn't say so. I said, Gabe, ain't God all right? When I already gave away three, and I'm not a rich man in my eyes, but in God's eyes, I can have whatever He said I can have. Ain't God all right? By my wife, Mercedes, my, my mama told me, she said, I want the SUV. That's what my mama said. So I told my mama, I said, Mama, you can get the truck. I've got my wife a, 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 another vehicle. I said, You can get the truck. My mama looked at the truck, she looked at the SUV, she said, I'd rather have the SUV. I said, here it's yours. Uh, then we said, uh, we agreed on it. Come on, somebody. How can you be blessed if you never bless somebody else? That's right. That's right, preacher. That's right. How can you be blessed if you never bless anybody else? That's right, preacher. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. Thank you. Hey, God, all right?
And you know what now? I got three, four trucks. And I ain't got name parked in the yard right now. I don't have one parked in the yard. Because I'm always trying to help somebody else. Yes. Ain't God all right? Yes. What you do for others will come around to you. That's right. What you do, just do out of a pure and perfect heart. Yes. Don't worry about nothing. Amen. 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 But don't be a manipulator either. Don't try to take from nobody. Right. Amen. That's right. Just be yourself. Amen. Bishop Daniel, yes, sir. we love you with the love of Jesus. And I hope and pray that something was said that was a blessing to you, your wife, and your family. I'm glad I was able to come today and meet your family, the majority of them. Amen. We love you with the love of Jesus. And ain't nothing you can do about it. I met some new brothers, Pastor Walker, Pastor Chapman. I never met them before, but I'm honored today to meet them. And when I met him today, I felt the love. I actually felt the love. I ain't asked you nothing. I ain't asked you nothing. Thank you. I ain't asked you nothing. I'm going to do you like I do my mothers in the church. I ain't, I ain't asked you to say nothing yet. You all right, Pastor Daniel. Keep doing what you're doing. Stay humble before God. And he'll exalt you. Yes, yes. Let go and let God. And no good thing will he withhold from you. I'm telling you, there's a miracle taking place. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. There's a miracle taking place. Thank you, Jesus. Let not your heart be troubled. For nothing. For nothing. Do you hear me? Don't let it be troubled for nothing. God got you. God got you. God got you. God got you. You belong to him. You belong to him. Amen. Don't be afraid of the people's faces. But tell them what thus said the Lord. Let them know that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Let them know that there's hope. Let them know that there's help. Be instant in season and out of season. And God will do the rest. He know what you need. He know your request. Yes. He done heard your petition. Yes. Just stay faithful to him. Yes. Stay faithful to him. Yes. He'll do the rest. Yes. He'll do the rest. Yes. Don't worry about what you can't do. Don't worry about what's out of your control. Just put it in God's hand. Yes. He'll do the rest. Yes. Watch him. See if he won't open the windows of heaven and pull you out a blessing that you won't have room enough to receive. I'm telling you what God will do. You hear me? Stay faithful to God. He'll do the rest. We love y'all today. Amen. We praise God for you. I hope I wasn't too long. I did take my five minutes, right? Okay. As long as I got my five minutes. As long as I, Sister Nash, you all right back there? I got my five minutes, right? All right. As long as I got my five minutes, we good. All right. To God be the glory. But before I sit down, something soft, something light. Say anybody need prayer. I don't care who you are, where you come from. Let me tell you something. When we ask that question, everybody sit like, oh, I don't need prayer. I'm saved. I'm already saved. I'm already this. I'm a, I don't know. I don't need prayer. You know what? When an altar call is made, somebody said, do you need prayer? I need prayer. Yes. It's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. Yes. From strength to strength, we'll go on. I need prayer. Oh, Someone ask again. Is there anybody in the house that needs prayer? Some of us came a long way. We don't know what our destination holds. We don't know what we're going to face as we're going back down the road. Our different destination. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Ain't God all right? I love the Lord today. I can't do nothing without it. Is there anybody else? If you're able to come, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. To anyone else? Hallelujah. I told you I'm not your ordinary preacher. I don't do a lot of hooping and howling. I just do what the Lord tells me to do. Thank God, all right. Where's you from? You're from here? You're from 
love you. Hallelujah. I love you. I love you. Yes, ma'am. Continue to touch their lives. The lives that are in them. God, I speak even to them. 
accounts. Right now, the ones that don't know you from the three parts of the head. I pray right now, God, that through their lives, their children, grandchildren, great grands, nieces and nephews, sisters and brothers, God, aunties and uncles, will come to you, God, in the name of Jesus. God, let them look at the standard everywhere they go. Let them proclaim your name. Let them be bold about your word, God. Yes. For you will not allow anything to come upon them. So none of the blood and the heart behind them all. Yes. Keep them healed in their body. Strengthen them where they're weak. And build them up when they've been torn down. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. We thank you for them right yes. now. Bro. Open doors that don't yes. make you come upon God. Make ways out of nowhere. And we'll give you the glory and pray. Jesus a long time. Oh, yes. And I ain't got tired yet. Ain't ain't got time. You need to quit running from Jesus and run to him. <laughs> huh? You need to quit running from him. Not mean that in a good sense. Because the enemy, the enemy really upset some trouble. But no. Mm-hmm. Look like every time you try to put one foot forward, look like you get knocked back 10 steps. Mm-hmm. But I want to let you know that God is on your side. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You hear me? You hear me? Everybody say they love you, don't they? Mm-hmm. I don't even know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Everybody say they got you, they ain't got you. Mm-hmm. But I can tell you that God got you. God got you. You hear me? Mm-hmm. You go to church here? Mm-hmm. But you live here in this area? So far, Miami, mm-hmm. Virginia, Texas. Mm-hmm. What part of Texas are you from? Houston, what part of Virginia you live in? Norfolk? Oh, we got Kent folks up around there. She got transferred. Same thing here with Virginia, Virginia. If you're in the military, you get the military. You just retired. I want to say something to you. The same way you were in the military, I want you to be that same way for God. Because only you know what God has brought you from. And what you have seen, and what you have, could have gotten into, is only God has God got you. He loves you so much. He loves you. That girl, you know, the time when you come, amen. Hold your arm around her. I want her to feel that love. I want her to feel that love. Feel that love. Feel that love. Feel the love. Feel the love. Feel the love. Let it go. 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 Father, well, I thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. God, that you are taking your name of God. That you are moving. God, right now in the name of Jesus, you got such a love to you. God, that people don't understand us. God, they look at them in certain ways. They don't, they don't know where you are from. We don't know the same God that you have delivered him out of God. And I pray right now, God, that you will kill with the mind of God. Call him with the mind of God. And keep him with the mind of God. Continue to want to serve him and lift you up, God. God, I pray in the name of Jesus, God, that God, that we go before the people, God, that the words of his mouth and the testimony of his lips, God, enter and sink into their heart. Somebody may have know his testimony.
Here's her phone number. Call her. Call her sometimes. Stay in care of her. Amen. So I tell you what, thank you. Thank you. All right. Amen. 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 Thank God for the message and thank God for his messenger. Hallelujah. We thank God again for uh, going to have expressions from our honorees, Pastor Henry Daniels and Dr. Lydia Daniels. Let's say praise God. Praise God for them. Amen. Come on, give God some praise, y'all. Pastor Daniels. I know he's not discouraged because Moses didn't get on. On a stick till he was 80 years old. <laughs> he saw it in a burning bush. Dr. Daniels, praise God, my sister. God bless you. Let's give our uh, elder walk a hand. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My baby brother. All the way from Jacksonville. Hallelujah. And for you, Apostle. Can you never remember Jack, the last Jack, name? Jack, Jack. Yes, thank you for being here. Thank you, my sister, hallelujah, Pastor Ingram, Pastor Mays, hallelujah. We thank God for you, Bishop Nash, all, all of you, every one of you in your places, hallelujah, my good friend over there, Pastor Moss, we thank God for you and every one of you here today, hallelujah. God has been so, so, so good, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I just can't thank him enough. If I had 10,000 tongues, I would thank him with everyone. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I want Bishop to know I did slow down. I don't drive as fast as I used to drive. Oh, yes, Lord. I slowed down. I slowed down. And God is so good. I thank God for my husband. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Pastor Daniel. I tell everybody he's getting old. What? He getting old. What? He getting old. He getting old. Praise God. Because we haven't been married but 58 years, you know. Because I believe the vows until death do you part. And listen, he said he going to live to be 100. He got 20 more years. I told him I was going to be right here with him. All right. <laughs> God is good. I tell you, this has been so, so good. And I said, 80 years old, and you ain't ready to retire yet. He said, God didn't tell me to retire. All right. I said, oh, okay then. So I have to just stay there and help him because God put me here to be his help meet. Hallelujah. I know my position. Praise God. So I'm going to stay in it. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so thankful. I thank God for all my children. Y'all see, I had all the children on the program. Praise God. Because they, 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 they did so much. They gave so much. Hallelujah. They loved their dad so much for his, 20, his 80th birthday. He got 20 more years. For his 80th birthday. And I just give God the glory and uh, our grandchildren. Praise God. Thank God for my first grandson that's here. Hallelujah. Kenny, hallelujah. The first one. Praise God. And all the rest of all the Daniels children, stand up. All our families. Thank you, Jesus. Children, children, and grandchildren. Hallelujah. Some of them are in the back. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I thank God for them. So I told them family matters. Hallelujah. All of them have been invited to come move here in Eastman or Cochrane area. Because they are all over the place. And we will be so happy for them. I, just visiting, but if they, you know, sometimes they get in a position where they can move and be close to the parents instead of the parents got to go to them. You know what I'm talking about? I want them to come here. You, you understand what I'm talking about? 
All right, then. Thank you, Jesus. How about in a minute, y'all? Y'all understand what I'm talking about? Thank you, Jesus. Because you know, I don't have but 20 grandchildren. Seven great grands and one on the way. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm looking at the mama to be. Thank you, Jesus. I'll tear my head. But anyway, we just thank God. Hallelujah. I love all of you. Praise God. Love is what it does. And I love my husband, y'all. I love him with all of my heart. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Since ninth grade, I've been loving him. <laughs> Y'all pray for me. I need your prayers. Amen. And uh, when you talk to me and if I don't answer, uh, answer right, you know I ain't hearing right. Okay. I love you. Amen. amen. Let the church say amen. amen. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory. 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 Hallelujah. We thank God for the message today from Bishop Ingram and his words of wisdom. We thank God for all of you family that has traveled great distance and spent the time with us. We appreciate it and we love you and we're uh, happy to see you. And I know what my wife said, move here, but I can understand if you don't have that desire. Whenever you retire, leave the Navy, leave the whatever, then you're welcome to, <laughs> to come and stay. Amen. We thank God for the birthday celebration yesterday, and there was a great surprise. I'm a person that don't like surprises, and I don't try to surprise anyone. I try to tell everybody what I'm doing before I do it, because I don't like surprises. I tried to surprise my oldest brother, I guess that was 20 years ago. He was in the army. And uh, I was in the Air Force, and we was going to go out there and surprise him. So we drove out to where he was stationed at, and we got to the base and asked for him. And they started looking and checking. They said, oh, he left two days ago going to California and didn't leave an address. And we was heading to California, too. And we, we was not able to meet him, and I met him 20 years later. So I don't like surprises. And I try not to surprise anyone, but they've surprised me yesterday. My sister is 82 years old. She lives in Coconut Grove, Florida, and she has never been up here. I've tried to get her to come many times when she was a lot younger like me, but she would never come. And she came last night, and that was a great surprise. One of her daughters brought her up and her granddaughter and grandson. And I thank God for them and they should be back home now. And we thank God for everyone that's here because you are a blessing to me. Uh, I thank the, the True Vine family. I'm not, I'm not gonna call names because I'm gonna get myself in trouble. But I just thank the, the ones that worked and allowed us to have this anniversary. Uh, and uh, those that invited their family and friends to be with us, and uh, for those that came out and to be with us. And I thank God for Bishop Nash. He's a pa bishop we worked with for, for several years. Pastor Mays, we worked with him, and Pastor Mays is uh, really a very blessed man and I like being around him and we uh, we're going to work more and more together and I thank you Bishop Ingram and Pastor Ingram and Apostle Chapman and then my brother-in-law and his wife uh, Sister Sheila who did the devotional service I thank all the wives too, Mother Nash and Mother Mays. I thank all of you for being with us today and being a part. And I forgot what I wanted to say. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. And I thank each and every one of you. And we're gonna 
turn the service back in the hands of uh, a good missionary Mallory. She presentation. Is that what you said? Yeah. Hallelujah. Well, we, we love all of y'all. Oh, I know what I want to say. I want to thank Bishop uh, Pastor Moss for being here. Because last year this time, last year this time, her husband was here and he preached a message. And I said something to his daughter that offended her. And I, I regret that from that day forward. It was something simple, something that I didn't mean, but I said it. Thank you, Jesus. I said, I asked her, I said, where's your mask? Everybody was outside and nobody had a mask on. I said, where's your mask? And I didn't, I said it as a joke. But it wasn't a joke to her. And I didn't apologize to her right then. So she was offended. And she, you know, let it get back to me that she was offended. And I apologized to her. And I said, this is why I don't like surprises. Because you could hurt people. That's the worst hurt I've ever had. God is good, and he wants you to be a blessing to others. And when you offend people in church, you can never, ever get them back. They're offended no matter how many times you apologize, no matter how many times you do things to, help, to be a blessing to them. It's a hurting feeling. Church hurt is the worst hurt you can have. And I pray to God I never hurt anyone else in the ministry. My ministry is not for anything other than winning souls, and that's all I want. And I want you to come to the church and you feel like the Lord's blessing you and not the body and not everything else, but it's, it's something I take personally and I want you to take it personally. And I apologize to you. I do, me and your husband talked about that many times, and uh, it was something that I did and said. And I, that's something that I always try not to do, hurt people. A lot of times, you know, you need to hurt people because of their reaction. And that's a different story. But, but they hurt someone that come to be a blessing to you, something you never should do. And I thank God. I thank God for each and every one of you for here today. And I miss Pastor Moss, Bishop Moss. He was a very good friend of mine. And I thank you, Sister Moss, for being here with us today. And I say to one, and I say to all, may the blessings of the Lord be yours. Missionary Mallory. Praise the Lord, everybody. <laughs> Listen, he was born on the 10th of October. I was born on the 11th. So when he cried, I cried. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And I just thank God for all of you. I'm telling you, I'm so touched today by your presence. And I'm not going to be long-winded, praise God. Um, we do want um, all of you to know, <sighs> thank you, Jesus, that we don't normally do this, but we need, oh, thank you. We need a speaker's offering. We need a speaker's offering. So if you just dig deep, praise God, and share what you have, we would really appreciate it. Praise the Lord. He didn't charge us anything to come. But we want to bless the man of God. And um, as you're coming, it's special presentations. And I want you to know that my pastor and my co-pastor 
they remind me so much of my daddy. And uh, when we thought about a theme, that's what my dad always said, love is what it does. And I thank God because I don't see anybody in here that I hate. I love all of you. Praise God. I love all of you. And I want you to know that. Um, pastors, Daniel, Dr. Daniel, praise God. My brother, my sister, Henry and Lydia, praise God. You're a blessing, pastors. I will give you this, this is what the word says. I will give you shepherds after my own heart who will guide you with knowledge and understanding. Jeremiah 3.15. Dear pastors, Henry and Lydia Daniels, so thankful for your encouragement, leadership, and faithful ministry in our church. God bless you richly. We love you very much, Richard and Iva. And the family, because with me today is my youngest son, Matthew, who's back there with the two ch uh, sons and uh, the two grandsons, praise God, Makai and Mitchell. So I just thank God for all of you, because when I look at them, you know what I think about? How you not just love it, what it does, what it, uh, what it does, but I think about my pastor always saying, for God I live and for God I'll die. And I tell you, he demonstrates that. I say to him sometimes, Pastor D, why don't you rest? He said, I'm going to have plenty of time to rest when Jesus come back. I'm going to have plenty of time to rest. So I thank God for all of you. Thank you for your giving. And um, thank God for that daughter who's assisting me. If you have an offering, just hold it up in the air. We thank God for you. We're not going to even make you walk right now. But um, I love my pastor so much. They know that. They know that because... How many of you drive two and a half, three hours to go to church? Raise your hand. <laughs> I see one who wants to drive. You better let her come up there with me. <laughs> yeah, you know it. <laughs> but I just thank God because uh, when I do that, I have so much special quality time with Jesus. Oh, my goodness. Hallelujah. And some, one day I was praising the Lord so much, pastors, the police stopped me. And uh, he said, the speed limit 55, where are you going 70? I said, oh, Lord, I was just praising God, sir. I didn't, I didn't realize it. He said, okay, you better realize it from now on. He let me go, praise the Lord. No ticket, but I'm telling you, I love the Lord with all my heart, soul, and mind. And I love my pastors, and I love all of you. God bless you. Thank you so much for coming. And now we're going to um, ask uh, my brother, come on. Bless the offering. Praise God. Hallelujah. Everyone given the desire to give. Gracious God, we thank you again for these that have given and God offered by, by sacrifice for the upbuilding of the kingdom. Bless the man of God who brought us that unadulterated word from you. Hallelujah. Continue to keep him, God, and bless him. I got strengthen him. Let, it, let the words of his mouth, meditation of his heart, be acceptable in your sight. Ask these blessings in Jesus' name. Everybody say, thank God. Amen. 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 All right, he was getting ready to close out, but we got a special presentation that his great great grandson wants to give him before we close out. His great great grandsons. All right, what you want to say? A weird body, a granddaddy, so we for you. They got this. They got this trophy for you, for your great granddaddy, from the kids. Somebody take a picture. I would be remiss not to mention this. You know this man who brought the word today? Do you know that they cater? They cater food. I'm going to tell on you. 
here I am way up in Douglasville. She called me. You need any help? I want you to know they brought enough food for about 40 people. Did you hear me? About 40 people. That's right. All kinds of delicious food. So don't leave here without getting your food. We prepared for the ones who are here. I'm sorry if they didn't come. <laughs> so uh, preachers, we did make one for your wife. If you have a wife, praise God. But we want you to know that we love all of you. And I thank you so much, Pastor Jay. Love you so much. God bless you. Thank you. Love is what it does. <laughs> we thank each and every one of you. And especially, you know, the McKinley family, because they gave a very lot of, they brought food and they gave. And they're always giving. And I just love people that's giving, that I don't ask them to give, they give. And you know, whenever you ask someone to give, it, it sometimes hurts you, and you don't know the reaction that you're gonna receive from them. Some people don't like uh, you asking them for things. And I just pray to God that we do it right. And we thank God for each and every one of you here and that you could get whatever you want as far as food today as, as we end this service because you've spent a lot of time here and we've got some that's flying out tonight. So we're going to try to close this service and give honor to God for everything that he's done. And we thank God for the man of God and the men of God in the pulpit. And I believe every one of them was had something to say or do. And we appreciate them and for their faithfulness and for their following what God has given them to do. So we're going to call Bishop Ingram up and ask him. Oh, I like to thank my grandson. It says, man of God. Amen. Amen. And I thank God for them that thought enough for me to want to get me a, a trophy. And and this was a surprise to, to, it was supposed to be a surprise for me, but God knows I don't like surprises. So time they drove up, my grandson says, I got a present for you, a trophy. Amen. At church, say amen one more time. Amen. amen. As we get ready to leave this place, we're never from the presence of God. Amen. I got one request in mind. Amen. You have not because you asked not. So I'm going to ask if there's anybody here that know of somebody or have something. Amen. On this behalf, we're looking for a van anywhere from a 12 passenger to a 15 passenger van. Amen. We about to roll hours out. Amen. We have been had it for so long a time, and it's got a lot of wear and tear. Hey, somebody say amen. amen. We believe in going for Jesus. Amen. Amen. We go all over the place. Amen. State to state, nation to nation, wherever God sent us, that's where we go. So if you know anybody that have a van, amen, that they're not using or would like to donate or sell, amen, we are looking for a 12 or 15 passenger van, amen, so that we can continue to be on the road for Jesus. Amen. Is that all right? And we're going to ask you to stand as we get ready to leave this place. We're never from the presence of God. And I'm going to have my minister to take us out of here. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. And I'm just going to bless the food. God, we bless the food right now in the name of Jesus. Bless every hand that prepared it. Let it be a blessing and nourishment for our body, for Christ's sake. If there's any defense, we ask you to move it out right now in Jesus' name. We thank you for everyone, God. Let that food multiply so it can be enough to go throughout for everybody and even have some left over. Amen. You did it with the five fishes and loaves. I know you can do it for this. Amen, God. And we thank you for it right now as we allow our minister to take us out. Amen. With the hymn in Jesus' name. Guide me, O oh, Thou, great.